Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video. And today I wanted to very quickly go over the armor set I've been using and show you guys why it's one of the best high rank armor sets. And for sure, a set that you'll want to go after once you start progressing through high rank yourself. So, if you do enjoy this video and you do find it helpful, then a like would be super appreciated. And be sure to comment down below and let me know what you guys think, and also tell me what armor sets you are currently running with. Also, don't forget, there is still one week to enter the PS4 Pro giveaway we're running, so be sure to click on the link in the description box down below if you want to enter. Now, to begin with, the set that I'm wearing isn't actually a complete set. It is four parts from Odogaron, and the fifth and final part is actually the Dragon King eye patch, and I'll explain why in just a moment. First things first, this is the Odogaron armor set. It's one of my favorite armor sets in the game, partly because it looks badass, partly because it's red, and also partly because Odogaron is also one of my favorite monsters too. The alpha version of the set looks like this, meanwhile the beta version like this, but for the purposes of this video we're working with the alpha set. Looking at the complete set for a moment, firstly it has two set bonuses. If you have just two pieces equipped you get punishing draw, this adds a stun effect to draw attacks, and slightly increases your attack power, so assuming you run in and pull off your draw attacks on a monster's head, then you're building up that KO threshold and eventually, given the right opportunity, you could KO the monster simply through a draw attack. However, second to that, if you have four pieces equipped, you unlock Protective Polish. With this, your weapon sharpness does not decrease for a set time after sharpening. You'll notice that up here, my sharpness gauge gets a little outline around it, and all while it's there, my weapon sharpness won't drop. This lasts for a whopping one minute, which makes it an exceptionally good skill when paired with weapons that have small amounts of blue or white sharpness, where that would normally decrease pretty quickly, you're able to instead take advantage of this to make it go much further. On top of that, you also have Critical Eye level 5, which increases your affinity by 20%. And for those of you that are new to the series, you can see affinity like crit chance. It's a chance on a hit to do more or less damage. You can get both positive and negative affinity. You might notice that some weapons you craft come with negative affinity, meaning there's a chance that some of your hits may only do 75% of the damage. Meanwhile, positive affinity is a chance to do 125%. So armor with affinity allows you to either boost that or negate any negatives. You can also get level 3 bleeding resistance, which is great if you're fighting Odogaron since he makes you bleed. You also have speed sharpening level 3. This is amazing. It removes 3 cycles from the sharpening process. So instead of your sharpening being like this, it's instead like this. And this goes hand in hand with protective polish since it is incredibly quick to sharpen, so you really have no excuse not to stay topped up. Constitution level 1 reduces your stamina depletion by 10%. Quick sheath level 1 makes it slightly quicker to put your weapon away, which is handy when you're in a pinch. And that final skill you can ignore since it's on my charm and isn't related to this set. So, that is the Odogaran Alpha set by default. However, if you want to make things even better, then right down at the bottom of the list, I've blurred out some of the names in case you guys don't want to see spoilers for the other monsters. But right down here, you have the Dragon King Eye Patch. This has Weakness Exploit Level 2 on it, which makes it so that when you hit weak spots, you have an additional 30% increased affinity. Now, by dropping the Odogaran Helmet, you lose 2 points in bleed resistance, meaning you only have level 1, but since most monsters don't inflict this anyway, it's really not a big loss. But you also do drop Critical Eye down to level 4 instead, meaning that by default you have plus 15% affinity as opposed to the plus 20 from before. But pair that with Weakness Exploit and your overall affinity gain is much higher. This set is an incredibly potent combination, and since the Odogaran set is something you'll be able to craft, say, midway into high rank, it's also a viable endgame set, since you can boost the defense considerably, and it's what I've been using to tackle all of the endgame content thus far. It looks awesome, provides some great damage boosts, and if you pair it with a fast attacking weapon, you'll be pulling off critical hits all the time. I had a lot of fun running the set with dual blades, because you will see the benefits on this so frequently. But as mentioned, there are multiple benefits to using this set. You can combat weapons with negative affinity, thanks to the good amount of base affinity this provides and the added weakness exploit. You can deal with weapons that have low sharpness, and the handful of utility skills makes things like sharpening in combat much less dangerous. Now, to be clear, this isn't the be-all and end-all set. It's not a case of make this and you'll never need anything ever again. Of course not. After all, the true end game is about building sets that truly benefit your playstyle and your weapon choice. But as high rank gear goes that you can make off the bats, this is a great set to aim for. It'll see you through the challenges that lie ahead of you as you approach the end of high rank. It's not too difficult to farm once you get used to Odogaran's tells, and it looks really cool. So it's definitely a great set to aim for, and run with until you ultimately begin dipping into the true end game and start building your own mix sets. So for the time being, that was a quick look at what I've been running with so far. 
If you have any questions, by all means let me know and keep it locked for much more Monster Hunter World videos. Thanks for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.